When I think of labor leaders, I think of Ed Hill. Edwin D. Hill was an electrical worker, labor union activist, and a labor leader who was also the 17th international president of the IBEW. Edwin D. Hill was the president of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, an office he held from 2001 to 2015. As president of a union whose members work in all sectors of the energy economy, from utility companies to solar panel production plants, from building retrofitting to nuclear power facilities, Ed Hill had a unique, hands-on perspective about the scope of challenges facing the country as it strived to make the transition to a clean energy economy. Both in his role as president of the IBEW and as a member of the AFL-CIO's Executive Council, he was a leading voice for a balanced and practical approach to the nation's pursuit of energy independence. As president of a union with a long history of providing quality job training, he offered an informed perspective on the value and challenges involved in significantly expanding the role of job training as the country attempted and still attempts to overcome cascading job losses. From his roots in Center Township, Beaver, Pennsylvania, Hill joined Local 712 of the IBEW in 1956. In 1960, Ed turned out from the apprenticeship and quickly became involved in his local union. Ed was active on various committees and over the years was appointed to executive positions with Beaver County Building Trades Council, the Committee on Political Education, and the Pennsylvania State AFL-CIO, to name just a few. Mr. Hill's sense of community responsibility could be measured by his involvement in countless community-based organizations, including the March of Dimes, the YMCA, the United Way, and the Governor's Committee for Economic Development. In addition, he sat on the advisory boards of Penn State and Geneva College. A respected and influential leader in the labor movement on Capitol Hill and in the business community, President Hill was named one of the 100 most powerful people in Washington by Washington Life Magazine in a 2015 issue. Anti-union propaganda had created a perception that hiring union workers was bad for business, but we knew better, Hill said. We just had to remind our customers, and truth be told, some of our members, that high standards of craftsmanship and productivity are hallmarks of the IBEW and the foundation of a profitable business. No one can say enough about Ed Hill. I knew him personally and was very saddened by his untimely passing on December 1st, 2018. The labor movement misses you, Ed. In solidarity, brother. <laughs>